Welcome to today's Simplicity training. This is a specialized training on the re report scheduler feature. Right now what you can see is the home screen. This is the screen that you see when you first log into Simplicity or by clicking this button here. From here to get to the report scheduler, we're going to go to tools and all the way at the bottom, report scheduler. So the report scheduler allows you to automatically email a client a customized client status report, and you can choose to do this on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. So when we first went to Tools and Report Scheduler, the, set, the screen is set up so that we can add a new report schedule. To set up a new scheduled report, we're going to choose the type of report. Right now the options are, are strictly client reports, but we do have three different types. We have the client status report, the client status report is simple, and the client status report two. And to see which ones of those would work best for you, you can go to reports and then client reports and kind of take a look at those and make sure that, those, that uh, you, you're selecting the correct report for your needs or for your client's needs. Currently, we just have the PDF format. You will need to name your file. We do want to avoid any special characters such as dashes, at symbols, and symbols, percentages, or backslashes that can cause an error when, uh, when the file goes over to your client. Next, you'll need to choose whether or not you'd like to use the append date or password protect options. If you choose to add a password and password protect this, uh, this particular report, your client will need to type this password in when they receive the PDF document in order to open it. Okay, so next, is report filters. You can choose any of the report filters provided. This lets you display a report based on clients, creditors, and statuses. If you want to choose more than one at a time, you can hold down your control button and click several. You can also deselect this way. Okay, the next is you can uh, check this box to include notes. This includes all account notes. You can also choose to sort by debtor name, client name, or client and then creditor name. You can choose your type, how you want it to come across. Um, email is definitely the easiest selection. From here you can add an email address to send it to um, and then you can also add a reply email. What you can do is add is add your email this way. So this will be the client email that the report will go to, and then. Add. You can add your return address here. Okay, so um, to choose the SFTP um, format, you would need to have um, several things in order to do that. Um, you'd have to have a, a, it will require a host, a, re a remote path, a username, and a password. So email is definitely the easiest option there. Okay. So then in your other settings, you can uh, include a report description. And then your run frequency, you can choose daily, weekly, or monthly, and a start date. And then we can... Um, add our reports to the schedule. Okay, 
So now your report is set to run. So the one that we um, that we chose here is just the client status report, and that'll go daily starting today. Any questions? Okay. Um, so when we're all done, we've added this report schedule. Um, we've saved it to our new uh, the new scheduled report. Once we have a scheduled report, you can use um, these buttons here. You can uh, use the buttons to run the report right now, edit, or delete the report. At any time, you can also pause the report from running. So here's the pause button. Here's our run right now button, edit, and delete. All right, any questions? Okay, well, if there's no questions, that, that concludes our training for today. If you want to quickly give me your PIN numbers, I'd be happy to take them down so that I can email you a copy of this training. Otherwise, it will be sent out company-wide. Our number is 760. Perfect. Thank you. 1168. 1301. Okay. Perfect. Anyone else? 960. Okay. All right, anybody else? All right, I will get this sent out to the PIN numbers that I have, and otherwise um, you will probably be finding that soon in a mass email to all of our clients. I want to thank you so much for attending the training today. We hope you have a great day. Thank you for using Simplicity.